Good afternoon everyone, my name is Victoria Bletchenden and on behalf of Ashley and Luke, I am absolutely delighted to welcome you here today to this very special occasion to witness their union as husband and wife. I'm a registered celebrant authorised to conduct marriage ceremonies in Australia in accordance with current laws. Please be seated everyone. I would like to firstly thank Luke and Ashley for having me officiate their marriage. It is an honour and a privilege. It has been some time coming, but we have got there. We wish to acknowledge and respect that we are meeting upon the traditional lands of the Paramount people today. We pay respects to the traditional owners and elders of this land, past, present and emerging. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge Luke and Ashley's attendance for joining them up here today. Now the bridal party consists of Catherine, Natalie, Larissa, Georgia, Joey and Lee and then Jackson, Hugh and Luke, the lucky three boys that have the six bridesmaids. Now I know that Ashley and Luke feel really blessed to have you all standing here with them as witnesses to their marriage, but even more so for your lasting friendships with them. So thank you all. On one of the most significant days in their lives, Ashley and Luke would like to acknowledge with love and appreciation their parents, Don and Jane, JP and Sarah. Without you, these two wonderful humans would not be the people that they are today. You were the first to give them love. As parents, you've guided your children along the right path, smiling at their joy and successes, and sometimes having to share in their pain. You've walked beside your children and when it was time, you showed them how to walk towards the one that they love. And now they are beginning their married life together. They give thanks and they honour your love for them both. Ashley and Luke, let me begin by saying that the ability to love and to be loved is an incredible one. And I think I may speak for everyone here today by saying that seeing the two of you rise to this commitment is simply beautiful. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that through love and patience and through dedication and perseverance and through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences and by learning to make the most important things count and to simply just let go of the rest. Through your love, you will embrace your future together. The love you now share and the protection you offer one another has brought laughter and happiness, acceptance and an absolute sense of peace and contentment that I know that you both deserve. So now, as you offer yourselves to each other as partners in life and vow to love each other unconditionally from here on in, you take a little moment to let this, your wedding day, finally your wedding day sink in. Today is in fact the perfect day to reflect on your life together. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been really lovely getting to know this beautiful couple. And as I had the opportunity to ask Ashley and Luke a little about, about their relationship and how they came to be standing here today, I thought it would be nice to share what they let me in on. Ashley and Luke met on the 20th of July, 2016, on an unassuming Wednesday night out at the pub in Mount Hotham. 
Luke was with his workmates playing in the Wednesday night darts comp and Ashley was jo enjoying a night out with her workmate celebrating their fo first real payday uh, from their first teaching positions. Ashley said that although it was just a midweek counter meal, it felt special and so the girls dressed up to the nines to celebrate. Luke said he noticed Ashley immediately when she walked in, although <laughs> in her dressy attire, he just assumed she was a pretty girl from the city, not a local. Later on in the evening, both parties had moved along to a bar down the road. And when Ash saw Luke standing on his own, she timed her approach to get a drink, just as Luke did. Offering the oh so smooth line of, hey, what are you drinking? <laughs> Luke admits he was surprised by this vivacious girl and they struck up an easy conversation instantly. They quickly discovered that they had a lot in common and they enjoyed getting to know one another for the rest of the evening, talking about their on-mountain jobs, uh, where they'd hailed from and where they wanted to go in life. At this time in their lives, Ashley had finally embarked upon a full-time teaching position at the local Dinner Plain Primary School, which was a huge goal reached for her. She loved the snow environment and always wanted to strive to stay beyond the nonchalant fun life of ski and snowboard instructing. She said it was definitely a year of transition for her, accepting more serious and meaningful life choices. Luke had recently retired from a globally elite level of ski racing, having had shoulder surgery and had evolved his career as a coach. They realised many of the under 12 kids Luke coached were also the grade four to six students Ashley taught. And so they shared their observations of their students and their endearing traits. It was another connection and something that they had in common in their desire to mentor the young people that they were teaching. Both of them agree that their meeting was a delightful combination of the right person, the right place and the right time. When I asked them both what it was that initially drew their attention to one another when first meeting, Ash said it was definitely Luke's impressive moustache. <laughs> she said he looked very smooth and chiselled. She also mentioned that she thought his height suited her perfectly. <laughs> she said that when they were initially speaking, getting to know one another, she was very aware that Luke stared deeply into her eyes, giving her his undivided attention and he had a captivating smile. Luke said he, in, he was instantly drawn to Ashley's beautiful looks and then once they began a conversation, he was absolutely charmed with her outgoing personality, as well as her radiant positivity towards everything in life. When I asked them both, when it became official between them, they both agree it was a pretty quick succession from that initial evening when Ashley and her friends gave Luke a ride home. Luke, basically made his intentions clear with a kiss on the way out and it only took a week after that for them to reconnect. It was dinner at Ashley's house and then every day after that they both agree that it was probably after their first weekend out for a night of dancing with friends that it was obvious to all that they were locked in. When I asked them both as they were progressing into their relationship and getting to know one another, what it was that they found surprising to learn about each other. And Ashley said she was struck with Luke's sensitive and soft nature, his love for animals and his ability to observe the world around him so adeptly. And she was really happy 
to learn that his mother brought him up with impressive cooking and cleaning skills. <laughs> Luke said he was genuinely surprised and encouraged with the fact that Ashley possessed an equally silly side to her personality as he had. He said it was the foundation for an insight into what life would be like with her and he absolutely embraced it. When I asked them both when they realised that they'd fallen in love, Ashley said it was a clear moment for her. One night in dinner plane on an incredibly clear and cold starry night, they were enjoying the elements, looking up into the sky hugging and it was at that moment when Ashley looked back into Luke's eyes and she just knew she'd fallen from for him and Luke said it was quite early on in their relationship as well only about a month in when Ashley surprised him with hosting an amazing party for his 24th birthday and he said that Ashley went to so much effort to make him feel really special and he and he really felt that he knew then that he loved her and he also knew she loved him when I asked them both what it was that made them realize they wanted to spend the rest of their lives together Ashley said it was probably when Luke invited her to Colorado for the following winter when she was able to spend time getting to know his family throughout Thanksgiving and Christmas and she learned of Luke's lineage and it was not lost on her that they very well could have crossed paths many times in their past. In Vale, when they both lived there during pivotal times in their separate lives, it seemed like a wild stroke of fate to Ashley that they could have crossed paths many times before, yet hadn't. She was convinced then that Luke was who she was destined to spend her life with and she knew he was the whole package. For Luke, it was also centred around family. Three, three years into their relationship with Ashley, he broached the subject with his family about how he felt, how he completely loved Ashley and he couldn't see himself doing life without her. It was clear to him in those moments that she was his best friend and he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. And so it was a very natural progression towards their becoming engaged. After a long winter, living in Austria together, they holidayed in France in April 2019. Luke had planned to propose to Ashley during this trip, but he hadn't made any concrete plans as such. Ashley, however, felt it may be their night when they had reservations for dinner at a Paris restaurant overlooking the Eiffel Tower. She had an inkling that Luke may have been sitting on a ring for a while, waiting for the right time. But she knew something was up this night because in her own words, he was acting nervous and a little shady all evening. <laughs> Luke said he had actually winged it on the day, but thought it was the perfect setting to ask Ashley to marry him. And he said, it all just fell together beautifully and it couldn't have been better. He got down on one knee and asked for her hand in marriage and Ashley said a million times, yes. There is a hum... Um, when I asked them both uh, what it was about each other that actually inspired them and what they most respected about one another, Ash said... She adores the way Luke cherishes and values connection and the little things in life. Quality time spent together, nature, old photographs, special words written, talking about memories, daily rituals like coffee, walks and simply doing things together as a team. And she said she deeply respects that Luke has integrity in everything he does. Luke said that Ashley is absolutely inspirational to him with her passion, her commitment to anything she takes on 
and her will and determination to get the absolute most out of life. He said, of the many elements of Ashley's personality he admires, he most respects her absolute kindness. And finally, when I asked them both what they were most looking forward to in married life, They were unanimous in their answer in that they were looking forward to creating their own family, having more pets, creating their own living space and sharing their lives with their families, traveling more and growing old together and being able to look back on all the special memories. I think you two have a really beautiful foundation on which to start your married life. I, along with everyone here, wish you every blessing for your marriage. So now, Ashley, you would like to present a little verse. This poem, uh, Luke and I chose together and I'd like to read it on behalf of both of us. It is called Always by Langleave. You were you, and I was I. We were two before our time. I was yours before I knew, and you have always been mine too. So now I would like to invite the parents of Ashley and Luke, Don and Jane and JP and Sarah, to please stand and respond to this next part of the ceremony. The marriage of Ashley and Luke brings together two different families, two unique storylines, and so a new chapter in their lives can begin to unfold. Though this this relationship was formed out of the love that these two have found in each other, their marriage will ultimately be blessed by the support of their circle of friends and families. Parents, as representatives of everybody joined here today, I ask, will you bless and support Ashley and Luke's marriage? We will and we do and all of the above. Well done, thank you. So to the formal part, as your marriage celebrant, I'm required by law to advise you and your guests that I'm duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you are joined in marriage, in my presence and in the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage according to law in Australia is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. And now, Ashley and Luke, I'll ask you to hold hands together while I ask. Luke, do you take Ashley to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you love, cherish, respect and honour her? And do you promise to share all that life has to offer standing by her in good times and in bad from this day forward? I do. Ashley, do you take Luke to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you love, cherish, respect and honour him? And do you promise to share all that life has to offer standing by him in good times and in bad from this day forward? I do. Great. Okay, Jackson, your big moment. Rings? I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Luke, Henry, Chevalier,
Greaves. Take you, Ashley Jane, Erin Greaves. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. To love you and to honour you. To love you and to honour you. All the days of my life. Ashley Jane, it has been seven years of love and adventure and we have built a connection like no other. I now stand here with you today, my best friend, to give you my word and honour to walk through life hand in hand, one step at a time, together forever. I promise to be there for you, to understand you, to listen to you and to care for you. You are my beautiful girl, you are the love of my life. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Ashley Jane Erin Greaves, Sorry. did it at the same spot. Okay, you're right. Take you, Luke Henry Chevalier. Take you, Luke Henry Chevalier, to, to be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, to love you and to honour you all the days of my life. Now this is a little longer. Surprise. <laughs> Luke, I stand in front of you and our friends and family to say that I choose you. This choice is something that I will make over and over for the rest of our long loving lives together. I choose you because you are and always have been my best friend, a friendship I'd never had before dreaming you into life. Today, I'd like to ask for your hand in the greatest dance for the rest of my life. As our story shapes and shifts, my steadfast choice to honor our dreams united as one is because you are my greatest fan and my toughest critic, holding us both to the highest regard. You are my companion in good times and my ally in conflict. You are my accomplice in mischief and consolation in disappointment. You are my comrade in decisions and my traction from inertia. You are my confidant in soul seeking and the gatekeeper of keys to my heart. I choose to grow old, grey and wrinkly with you and I hope that we can be partners in parenthood one day sitting back on our porch and reflecting on our lives. Not only because you are the sounding board to my wild ideas but because you are the rhyme to my reason. Not only because you always offer me coffee in bed and take the broken yolk, offer me the nicer cut of steak every time but because you genuinely wish for my dreams to come true, big or small. Because you are honest and wise you are brave and loyal. You make me laugh. You stick up for me and care for me when I'm sick like no other. I promise to appreciate you, to show an interest in the things you do, value your opinions and stand by your actions. I will always accept you for who you are, whilst also encouraging you to continue growing into the courageous, kind man that you are. And together, we will strive towards our mutual goals. I vow to keep myself open to you, sharing my time, attention, and bringing joy, strength, creativity, and imagination to our life and our relationship. I promise to grow along with you and be willing to face adversities as we both change in order to keep our relationship alive and exciting. Let us make all the years of our lives together be the ultimate adventure. I love that we both used that word. When we met, we'd always say, always and forever. But I say this again now, starting our next chapter today. Well done. Good job. Okay. 
Ashley and Luke, you have declared your love for one another here today in the presence of myself and your nearest and dearest family and friends. Please share in Ashley and Luke's joy as I undertake the authority invested in me to declare them to be husband and wife. And now, Luke, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to take a short moment to make this all official and sign the register. I would like to invite mothers of the bride and groom to please do the honours of being official signing witnesses to the marriage. Thank you. Sooner or later, we begin to understand that love is more than verses on Valentine's and romance in the movies. We believe that love is here and now, real and true, the most important thing in our lives. For love is the creator of our favourite memories and the foundation of our fondest dreams. Love is a promise that is always kept, a fortune that can never be spent, a seed that can flourish in even the most unlikely of places. And this radiance that never fades, this mysterious and magical joy, is the greatest treasure of all, one known by all those who love. Thank you. Friends and family, it is now my honour and great pleasure to present to you for the first time ever, Mr and Mrs Luke and Ashley Chevalier. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 